Hi guys, I have a huge haul for you guys and it's a little bit of everything from everywhere. I went to Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, um, Walmart, uh, Amazon, and let me see, I think that's everything. And so this is gonna be a pretty, a pretty good size haul. So let's go ahead and get started. I went in and I found, um, we're gonna start with Hobby Lobby. I went in and I found a few things that were on clearance that I thought would be fun to kind of grab. And uh, the first thing I found were these. They were five gel pens, metallic. $1.24 is what I paid. They're originally $4.99. And so I thought the colors were really pretty, right? For $1.24. It's a penny cheaper than Dollar Tree. <laughs> but I thought they were pretty. So, you know, I'm always I'm always on the market for new pens. And then I found these, and these have 50 colored pencils. They're pre-sharpened and look, $1.99 and original price was $8. And so I thought this was a fantastic deal. And the fact that my kids started school uh, last Friday, I thought that this would probably be a really good idea to get. Look at those, pretty neat, right? And so I thought, you know what? We can always use crayons, colored pencils, mechanical pencils, markers, all that jazz. So I went ahead and I got those. That was, I believe, the only thing that was on clearance that I did buy. I also bought a couple other things, little toys, um, those uh, kids water bottles because all of the character stuff is like 75, I think, percent off. And so I bought a couple of those, but my daughter's already using those. Uh, let's go into the jewelry shop. I went and I found these. I have been wanting to do something with these. And these are just little safety pins, but it has the little loops here so that you can put um, like little dangles or something on it. And so I thought, you know what? This might be a fun alternative instead of just making dangles all the time to make like, uh, I want to call it junk journal uh, jewelry. <laughs> Something that you can actually attach to your junk journals and just have it there. So I thought this might be fun to make. And so I bought a couple packs of these. Right now the, the jewelry shop is, I believe, 50% off. And so I got a couple of those. These are six pieces each, so I got 12 for the price of one. So got that. Uh, let's see. This is a repeat buy for me, just grabbing more. And these are the eyelets. Someone had asked me where did I buy my eyelets from. And Zoology uh, at Hobby Lobby is where I get them. And these are the 532 uh, 4 millimeter. And so you get 48 pieces. And if you get Zoology on sale, it's what, 40, 50% off? I didn't. I just it's kind of random when they have the the zoology on sale but for two bucks for 48 not bad so i did get the uh let me see these are more like the no they're not copper like the antique gold kind of and then i got like the gun the gunmetal blue black what <laughs> the gunmetal gray pewter pewter that's what that is and so i just got those so that's just a, a repeat buy for me I also got in the jewelry, I bought these. Now I had been needing, I just kind of for my own storage, sometimes I just need little um, like kind of like Ziploc baggies. And I usually buy them at Dollar Tree. And I get, I think I get like a pack of like 20 or something for $1.25. And here I saw that these were 150 for a two by three. Um, little pouches for $1.79. So, you know what? I thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it. So, oh, it came with this really cool, the little Ziploc to kind of keep them intact. But look, not bad. Not a bad size. I love it. So, for the price, especially, 
to get 150 of these. So I went ahead and I got those. I did get some more uh, tape just because I liked it. If this is just like the duct tape kind of deal. $2.99 is what I paid for it. And they're just black with mushrooms. I thought that was cute. Just for my packages that I send out and stuff, I like to have a, a, a variety of decorative duct tape. So got those. I'm just dumping everything next to me, guys. Sorry. Then I went into the paper stuff and I found pine needles, which I had been wanting in the Ranger District Distress. I was going to say District Distress Oxide by Tim Holtz. And I also got the Rusty Hinge. I haven't um, heard too much about this one, so I wanted to try that one out. I thought, you know, can't do, can't go wrong with Rusty, right? And so I got those too, so I thought those were good. And I have been getting suggestions about other colors that I'm on the lookout for. I think I might have to order them through Amazon though because I haven't seen them at either Hobby Lobby or Joann's is where I normally get my Tim Holtz stuff, but haven't seen those there. Um, let's go back. I went into the yarn and I got these, not because I needed them, but because I really wanted you guys to see them. They're the bulb pins, and somebody was calling them something else, but technically it does say bulb pins, pins, and you get a hundred, and you only pay a dollar seventy nine, you guys. And I bought this in the yarn section. You know how they have like all the yarn needles and the crochet needles and all that stuff. That's where I found these. And let me see. I believe it comes in a little container. But I just thought that these were so cool. And, you know, sometimes we're in a bind and we just kind of need them now instead of waiting. <gasps> Cute, I thought they were like together, but they're not, they're individual little boxes. Very cute. So I do have a lot of the black, but you know, and then you have the silver. So, oh, I love these. Even the little containers are cute. So got those. Then I went in to the fabrics and I had been wanting something to kind of mimic the sari silk. And I wanted something in a neutral color. So I went and I found, I had been looking for, it's more like a lining. And so that's what I got. And so I bought this and I want to shred it into strips and then maybe use some as is in this cream color and then maybe dye some with some of my inks that I have. I have the bottles of the inks. And so I thought that might be cool to kind of do and use and kind of make my own faux sari silk. And so I got that and this is just lining you guys and you get it when the fabrics are on sale and you get 40% off, I think, is what it is if you, if you get it. And I just bought, I think I just bought a yard. I think I just bought a yard of this. But to cut it up into strips, it's going to go a long way. So got that. Went into, again, the paper section. And I found this. I needed a smaller hole punch. And this one is 0.32 centimeters. It's 1 8 inch. And I just really wanted, and I forget what I needed it for. <laughs> but walking past that section, I saw it and I said, oh, I've been wanting one. I don't remember why, but it was $3.49. So, you know, you figure it's fine. Don't remember what I needed it for, but I remember I wanted one for something. So let's see. Okay. Oh, that's good. I wanted it to be smaller than the smaller hole that I have for my um, my crocodile, and so I believe this one's smaller. But for three forty nine, I thought not bad. And then the green handle, so I got that. I went into the stickers, and right now the paper studio there are forty. I think it's 40% off. I keep forgetting. It used to be 50, but I think it's 40% off now. And I found these. I thought that these were really pretty. So let's open and see what's in here. And right now I'm telling you guys, like I just went to Hobby Lobby. And so if you're watching it this week, you should be able to find what's happening here. You should be able to find um, an 
any of the stuff that I hauling so that you guys can go and grab it. I know I've been told that I'm a I'm a bad influence <laughs> because I buy things and then you guys want them and then so you guys end up having to go get them and but sorry I just really want to share the stuff that I find because they're so pretty so we have these and these are just I believe they're clear yes look at how pretty and they're like a matted they're not very shiny and so I love that. I love using these type of, of I was gonna say scissors, stickers. My goodness, my brain is not working today. So we have all of these different stickers, the flowers, and I just thought that they were really pretty. I love the variety. Oh, you get sunflowers. Very cute. Then the brighter ones. Love those. The purples. And that's it that's it for that one it was 40 percent off so i don't know if you can do the math or bring your calculator out five minus the 40 percent off and then there is this one let me open this one up i probably should have done this before come on no, of course I try to do this. There it goes. There it is. There it is. I got it. Okay, now this one, let's see. This one, oh, this one just says ephemera sticker pack. And this one is called floral. So I got this. And you can see on the back what it has in it. But let's take a peek, shall we? Look at those. Those are pretty love that there's the birds wait oh yeah i have the ephemera pack of this set because i have the dahlia very cute i love that very very nice yeah i have the ephemera pack to this oh but now you have them in stickers very cute look at that that's cute and then of course my favorite I love everything vintage. Sometimes I go to the antique, the antique stores just to walk around and see what they have. It's just so much fun. If I had my own craft room, like specifically craft, I would definitely go that whole vintage vibe in it. That would be so much fun. So there's those. Then I went and I found this. Now this is called the Earth Tone Card Stock, 12 colors for each textured adhesive. I thought these would be really cool to make um, with the uh, the Big Shot, like, like the dies, right? Wouldn't that be so much easier? Then to try to glue like all of the little itty bitty pieces or the little, you know, the intricate design. And so I thought, you know what? Because this is more of the neutral colors, this might be really cool. I think I need to find this in black. Yeah, I think I might need to find that in black. But let's take a peek and see what the colors look like and the texture and all of that goodness. I'm just trying to get things situated here so that I could show you. But, and they're, let's see, they're four and a half by six and a half. And so you get this cream. Again, there's four of each. Then you get the darker. And then you get the darker. This is more like a taupey color. Ooh, this is kind of like a, I want to say like a rosy brown and then more of a goldish tone that's pretty like a light brown then you've got this kind of a muted brown right is this like a different color like the greens like a grayish brown oh here's a pretty green that's more like the sage right like the sage green is this a lighter tone? 
I feel like I'm seeing doubles. And then you've got this green, and that's it. But it is sticker. Let's see. Come on, there you go. So it is sticker paper. So I thought that was kind of cool. Getting it 40% off, and it is a white core. It doesn't matter. You can always distress it, but I just thought that that was a neat find. Got that. I found this. This again was 40% off, but this is extra heavyweight cardstock, and it's got um, 50 wood sheets. And I'm like, you know what? This might be fun to play around with and to use. I probably shouldn't have cut up here, but it's okay. I don't think I did any damage to it. I just want to open this up and see how this looks. So they are eight and a half by 11 and they are very, very sturdy. These would be perfect for tags, for um, pockets, anything that you really need, like a sturdy piece of paper. This is gonna be cool. So you've got the lighter brown of wood. I'm trying to look at all of them. You've got the dark gray, which is beautiful. You've got the light gray. Kind of more like a two-tone, right? And then I believe it's the white. Not bad, these are really heavy. Yeah, very heavy cardstock. I love that. So these are gonna be fun to make like tags and labels and stuff like that. Stuff, something that you really need, like that extra heavy weight. And you know, decorate this side and have this side as, you know, kind of like uh, the opposite. You know what I mean? Like double-sided kind of decorate this side and then you have this side as the back. That would be pretty. All right, so found that. Then I found this, which I thought was very cool. And this one was $8.99, again, 40% off. And it's parchment sheets, but it says that it's cardstock. So let's see what this looks like. I'm trying to get one, yeah. Oh, but it's double-sided. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good one. So it's parchment cardstock, uh, 65 pound, five colors, 10 of each. Again, eight and a half by 11, but look at this. They're double-sided. Isn't that cool? So you get all of these different colors. Very cool. Love that. I love that it's double-sided. And it's a pretty good weight. So that's gonna be fun to work with too. I'm just happy that it's double-sided. That's really cool. So it does kind of look like that parchment. Very nice. Then um, I did, a, this is another kind of a, a restock for me. So I just needed more of the memoir. This is the ephemera pack. It has 102 pieces for $4.99. Remember that at Hobby Lobby, the Tim Holtz stuff never goes on sale anymore. But let's just kind of do a quick run through so that you guys can see what it has. This one has a lot of these little book covers, which would be kind of fun to make like mini books. Ooh, make a little mini library. That would be really cute. In the beginning, I didn't know what these were until afterwards. I'm like, that kind of looks like a book cover. Isn't that cute? Do like a little book. That would be really cute to make book um, to make books out of the little book covers. So yeah, you get a bunch of them. These are all different. Then you have just a bunch of really fun stuff. Here's another book cover. Then you get little receipts. I have that stamp, just labels and numbers, tickets. All of this fun stuff. 
These are cool too. Aren't these like cigar or something? Skillful workmen. Typewriter. Ooh, I love this. I think this is the first thing that went when I first used this pack are the little uh, ruler ephemera pieces. These are pretty. Then of course you've got all of this, all of this, tags. Oh, you even have your little nests. Then you've got little itty bitty pieces. I love this pack because you can get a little bit of everything. Big size, small size, medium. These really fun book covers, labels, tags. This is a really fun one. And here are the bigger parts. You have a few flowers in here. That's really pretty with the feather. Here's another little ruler, the ABCs, alphabet. Got these. I think this comes in the, it looks like the Queen Mary. Have you guys ever been to Long Beach, California? That looks like the Queen Mary. There's that. And then you have the world globe type of, I love those. This one's pretty. And you've got little tags. Ooh, I should make some. I have that little, this little punch. We should make some mini tags like this. That would be cute. Bingo. So there's that. I'm gonna have to leave this on my table so that I can put it back. Put it in my drawer where it belongs. So there's that. This one is new to me. I've never hauled this one. I've never had it. And these are called the baseboards, um, the junk drawer, 40 pieces for $6.49. So this is new. I've never used this because I kept thinking, you know, what am I gonna do with these things because they're so thick. Very, very thick, but look at how cool. I wonder if I could peel off some of the layers. I probably can, because you can see how thick that is. I can probably peel off some of the layers so that it's not so thick. But these are really cool. These are crayons. I don't know what that is, but that looks like the, the top of a rusty tin, like a bullseye kind of thing. Ooh. Like little tags. Oh, this looks like the little um, chips from the bingo cards, right? That's cute. You have a clock. You can hear, look, right? <laughs> you can hear how, how thick they are. Ooh, you even get some little pieces or remnants of the, of the rulers or measuring tapes. That's cool. A plane card. This looks like Captain America's shield. <laughs> and I don't know what that is. Fine pencils. Ooh, this feels a little like grainy. You have that. Toy cards. A little map puzzle. Another little tag thing. I don't know what these are, but these are cool. Oh, another little chip, very cute. The letter T, shift key. Oh my gosh, is that like for an, a vintage typewriter? That's really cute. And then we've got this, the little elephant, very cute. Paper fasteners. Oh, I have a little tin that has this, the little Tim Holtz tin. I have that. It looks like that. The scents, the little labels, some more of the little tag things. Ooh, these are stuck. <gasps> these are stuck. Oh, I was gonna say those were stuck. A little domino, a little pen thing. Um, ooh, those were stuck. Very cute. Aww. Grape soda, that's like the movie Up, right? With his little grape soda um, badge thing. <laughs> that's cute, aw, I love that movie. I actually have a, a pin of that, like a, 
a clothes, like, you know, to pin on your clothes with the little up house. Got those. Very cute. I really like that set a lot. I never bothered to get that, but I really like it. Okay, and the last thing, I bought this. And these were on sale 50% uh, off, so I did pay $11, $12 for it, $11. I paid $11 for this, but I bought it for a reason. Only, Not only because it's cute, because it is really pretty, and I love the handle on it, but because I ordered these from eBay. <laughs> I've been really digging um, getting like um, um, vintage actual vintage paper goods and so I found this um, person on eBay who was selling 200 of uh, vintage library cards like cabinet cards for um, I think it was I don't remember how much I paid for it I don't remember but anyways, I thought that these were super cool. I think they were $20. I think I paid $19.99, but free shipping. So I thought that was cool. But I got these. I thought these were so much fun to kind of add like as ephemera in some of my projects. I thought that would be really cool. So you kind of have a little bit of everything. I kind of went through just a little bit. But I just thought that these were really neat. So you can you have some from 1922. 1963, 1981, 1950. So you get a really good selection. 1989, 88, 1945. So I just thought that these were really cool. Oh, some of these are sewn together. That's weird. So anyways, that's the whole reason why I bought this little box thing was because it could hold these and I just thought that it was cute. To put in here so there's that now going on with the whole thrifted vintage finds i found this and this one was only 80 cents and i got this at a value village close to myself my, close to myself close to my house and i just thought it was really nice the inside is really nice and so 80 cents not bad right got that and then i went to an antique store and i found these two and I just thought, these are just so pretty. Aren't they cute? And I love the size of them. And this one was done. I paid $3 for this one. And this one was from, let me tell you. Give me one second. 1908. Is that too cool? 1908. And these are just poems and little things. And so I thought that was really fun. For being 1908, it's in really good condition. Then I got this one, Lady of the Lake. Don't know what it's about. I just thought that it was really pretty. And this one I paid $2 for. And this one was published in, not yet, not yet. Come on, the whole introduction. The whole introduction is like a whole chapter. Oh, does, does this one not say? I don't think this one says when it was done. Does it say it on the back? No. I don't know. I don't know when this one was done then. Because the introduction, argument. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Nope, it just goes right into it. So I don't even know. I don't know when this one was done. But there you go. I just thought that it was really pretty. So five bucks for both of them. I thought that wasn't bad at all. They're really cute. Got those. Um, let's go into what I found at TJ Maxx. So I found these. I thought these were really cool. $2.99. And these are just um, clips brass clips for a uh, 10 piece but I thought these are really cool I thought I had seen some people use something like this and I kept thinking where do they get those from those are really neat look aren't they cool 
And so this is how they look when they're on. Cute, right, with a little tab? That is so cute. I kept checking and checking to see if they had more and I didn't find any, but I thought these were really, really cool. So I got those. I found this, I just really loved it. I just thought this would be really cute to keep in my, my purse, $3.99. And let's see, it is a pocket planner, 18 month, um, four and a half by five and a half. It's really cute. I just thought this would be really cute to kind of keep in my purse. And it does come with a pen, which I have not taken out yet. So let's see what that looks like. I'm trying to get that sticker off my finger. So let's see, come on. Ooh, fancy. It comes with a gold pen. That's cute because it's kind of like in the binding in the back. So it's got like a little secret compartment to keep it there. That's fun. I really like it a lot. And I love the brown and then it has like the little, let me take, am I gonna rip this? How How is this happening? There it goes. Isn't that cute? I love it. I think that's so much fun. So got that, and then the last thing, no, I, I got two other things. So I got this, I'm not, I'm not digging this, dare to live the life you have dreamed for yourself, which is not bad of a saying, but I'm probably gonna paint over it because I don't like my boxes to have anything on it. I just really like the shape of it, and I got this on clearance, it was $7, and look at how cute. Isn't that neat how it opens up like this way and it's super long? So I just thought that that was kind of a cool, I'm a, I'm a sucker for boxes. I don't, I can't explain it, but I just thought that it was really cool. My last find that I got was this, and this one I paid $5.99 for, and it's called a doodle box. You guys, this is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Look, it comes with your little wooden ruler and then it comes with your wooden pencils your colored pencils how cute is that and then look it has a wooden uh, sharpener is that the cutest thing ever cutest thing ever so anyways i just i just loved it and so i thought i have to have it it's just so cute that would look really cute on my desk not like I have space for any of this stuff, but it's cute. So I just, th I just thought that that was a really fun find. Okay, now let's go back to Hobby Lobby. Should I? Yes, let's just go back to Hobby Lobby. Because I did find a few things that I wanted to share. I found a few fall items that I wanted to share just because it's 40% off right now. I thought I'd get it now because by the time I want to get it and it's, you know, I'm trying to wait for it to be, um, lower discount or higher discount what do you call it um, then we don't have it there's not it's not there anymore so with all of that being said I thought this was cute I always love to I have let me see how many tier trays do I have in my house one two three I have three tier tray one two yeah I have three tier trays in my house and so I'm always looking to find some fun little things to put in it and I thought this was really cute. So I got the pumpkin spice season with the little um, latte stand, I guess. And I thought it was really cute. So it was originally $5.49, 40% off. So I got that. I found this, which, which are super cute. It comes with two pieces, the ladders, $6.99 original price. And I got them 40% off. So you get the orange one with the pumpkin patch with the black and white gingham. And then I decorate for fall with sunflowers. And so I thought this was perfect. Sunflower fields with the yellow and then the, the natural um, wood. So I thought that was super cute. Then I like to add a little bit of green. And so I found this and you guys, this is so heavy. This is such a good weight. $5.99 was the original price and I paid 40% um, off of that. <laughs> and it says, I love fall most of all. I just thought that was so cute. And the sage green is beautiful. The little leaf, the little tassel. 
I just thought that was really cute. So I got that. I also found these little things. Again, just to kind of put everywhere. Love the pumpkins. Isn't that beautiful? And these were both $5.49 each. So I got the pumpkin and the pears. I just thought that that would, that would be cute. They had apples, but I don't do much apples. I just thought maybe the pears might go a little bit better because of the yellows and my the sunflowers and stuff. So I just thought that might be cute to go together. So I got those. And then the, what? Piece de resistance? Is that what it's called? I found this, you guys. This is the best thing ever. Let me show you. Look. <laughs> it's a little gnome with sunflowers. Oh my gosh. Let me keep pushing this so you guys can see it better. Isn't that cute? And it comes in this little case thing. And so it is battery operated. It has a little thing on the bottom, the little switch. And original price was $50. And right now the spring shop is 75% off. And so I paid 11 or $12 for this. I just thought that this was so cute. And because, I mean, it's, some people use sunflowers for spring. I use sunflowers for fall. And so I thought that this was perfect. So I could put somewhere really cute. So I got that. Moving into some um, kind of repeat finds for Walmart. Um, I did get these. These are just the key tags that, that I like to um, grunge up and stamp on and put hanging on my projects. So I just needed a couple more of those. I found this and I know that it was super cheap, like three bucks or something. And it was a pack of three and it's just a uh, general purpose sales book. Let's open this and kind of take a peek of what they look like on the inside. I don't need them. I have other sales book receipts, but I just really like these because they were smaller and they don't have like any type of title or anything, but they still have the red stamp on them and then they have the dupe the yellow dupe on it so i just thought that these were cute so i got those then when i made my journals um my project journal the last time a lot of you were asking me where did i find my long uh needle and i kept trying to think and think and think where i found it and i couldn't remember but when i went to hobby lot not i went to walmart Walmart. I went to Walmart and I found them. This is where I got them. So they're called decorators needles and they're in the sewing section, you guys. And that's where I found it. So you can get these. Um, these are three pieces. They were both were under $5. I don't remember how much I, I bought them a while ago. And there's also this set and this one has five and they're called hand needles. And these are doll needles. And again, over by the sewing section. And this one is Hello Hobby. And you can use this with yarn or heavy thread, but of course, you know, we use them to junk journal, bind our junk journals. And so I wanted to share this with you guys so that you guys can have kind of an idea of what uh, type of needles you guys can use for your junk journals. It's just easier to bind, right? When the needles are a lot bigger than the normal ones. So I got those, wanted you guys to see those. Um, let's see, last couple things. I bought this on Amazon and this one is called the Newsprint and Type. I had been eyeballing this, it's been on my wish list and I finally got it. There's still a couple more that I still wanna get. If there's a set, I wanna know what your guys' favorite um, Tim Holtz stamp set is besides ones that I already have, which is the eccentric, the, um, my, one of my favorites is the school desk with the lines. And then, um, I have documented, I have all of these different ones. If you guys want to see a collection of my stamps, let me know. And I want to know if there's a, like a specific one that you guys really, really like. I want to know. Tell me, I want to know. 
And um, so anyway, so there's this one. And I, I thought this one was really cool. It just has the alphabet with the numbers. And then it has kind of like a classified type of deal on this one. I thought these would be really cool for background stamping. And also, because this one is um, horizontal, what, vertical? And this one's horizontal. So I just thought that that was a really good combo of that. So I got that and I also got this. It's just the embossing dabber in clear. So I had seen a lot of people use this. I wanted one, so I ordered it a long time ago, but we're gonna give this a shot and see how that works. Now, last but not least, I did get a, uh, you can say Happy Mail because I wasn't expecting it, but her name is Mimi from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm trying not to show her address. But my friend Mimi, she's so sweet. When she received one of the dangles that I had, uh, that she had purchased from my Etsy shop, uh, she got my uh, address from the package. And she sent me an email the same day this was going to arrive, just saying that she found a few things that she thought I could use for dangle making and she sent them to me so so sweet you guys and so it was a complete surprise i was in shock when i found it i was like what is happening and i'm so happy isn't her handwriting beautiful so she sent it to me and she said that it was just a few things that she found that were on clearance um a few things on sale and just thought you know what maybe your girl could use it, and guess what? Your girl could use it. And so here we have these, and these are nice because they already have the little, um, what the, claw hook kind of, <laughs> claw. <laughs> and so these are really cute. These are really cute. So I, she found these for me. These are three inches, they're chain extenders, but of course, use them for dangers, girl. So let me see. I think these are the same. Let's open this up. I just kind of opened the package. I didn't open everything up. I asked her if I can share this um, on the channel and she said yes. And so I wanted to see, yeah. So she got two more of those and then, yes. So I have a total of six and each one has four pieces. So what, 24? Not bad. Mimi, this is awesome. I love these. You know what? These would be really good. Oh my gosh. I just got a light bulb moment. I, it, it got stuck on here. But these would be super cool to use as, uh, what did I call it? Junk journal jewelry. Like, you know, the little tassel dangle things that you put at the end of your books you know what i mean like this these would be perfect for that oh my gosh because they're longer and i can make it even longer with the little you know um charms and everything that you hang <gasps> that's an awesome idea because they're already set all you have to do is hook it on oh my gosh mimi these are going to work out perfectly for that. And then she found me this gold chain, which is beautiful. I think she found these at Michael's. I think I recognize the, the stickers, but look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look, that's gorgeous. This would be good for that too, for the same, the longer chain. That's pretty. And then she sent this. So let's open this up. Oh, nice. She sent me more. Oh, ooh, these are black, black. I don't think I have black. I think I just have like the pewter color. But these are the little um, circle head type. And then she found like the antique gold, which is my favorite. I use these a lot. So that's awesome. Oh, pretty. And then she found these. Ooh, these are these have a really good weight to them. These are little seashells. 
50 cents for 11 pieces. That was awesome. Mimi, thank you so much for all of my, my treasures that you got for me. This is amazing. Thank you guys so much for thinking about me, for your encouraging words, for sending me beautiful stuff. It's amazing. I'm absolutely honored. I'm humbled and I'm super blessed. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this <laughs> very extensive haul that I've been kind of collecting to give you guys a pretty decent size. And that's it. I'll hope to see you guys um, in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, like, subscribe. Uh, my Amazon storefront with all of my favorite supplies are is linked below. Um, my buy me a coffee. Uh, which I explained in my last video, if anybody wants to help out financially um, to help support my channel, the link is down below and a little bit help. So um, I appreciate that. And I believe that's it. So, and if you guys want to send me pictures, contact me for anything, my email is also linked below. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.